Welcome back. So as I said, I'm going to slowly build more and more helpers in here as I keep progressing with my testing. So why not try and figure out how we can reuse this DOM helper in all our tests, right? Uh, there are a few things we need to figure out. Like right now, this is very specific for the product list component. We can fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by removing the DOM helper from here into a new file. And then we're going to try and bring it back into this file right here and be very specific that that's the product list component we're building right now. So let's try and do that. Now, first of all, I've asked around and I feel the best place to put this helper would be inside a new folder under source. And I'm going to call that just testing like this, nothing else. So that's the new folder right here. And there I'm going to create a new file. Remember, it needs to be a TypeScript file. So I'll create a new file and I'll just call it um, DOM helper like this. You can pick any name you want. I'll put that in there. Now I have my DOM helper. And the first thing we need to do is pretty much just copy that test over. So let's just go back and find the test. There we go. And I'll just copy this entire class, get rid of it from here and move it, right? There we go. So I'll go to my new DOM helper right here. I'll paste it in there. And now we need to export it to kind of use it outside of this area right here. There we go. So now we have a DOM helper that's exported. And now we just need to kind of bring it back into our spec right here, because right now you'll see I fail because my helper is gone, right? So it doesn't know how to get the helper. But since I exported it, I can actually just go up here and kind of just explain to the system that I want to re-import it, right? But now it imports it and it imports it from this new file we just built. That's how easy it is to export it. But there was one more problem because this is not very reusable because it's only built for the product list component right now. And we want to kind of reuse this for any component in the future. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this generic. And you can do that pretty simply just by adding up here, I'll just add a T. And that's a generic part of creating this DOM helper. And that just means that the T will be replaced anywhere inside my code. So if I put that in here now, boom, boom, then this will actually turn into a fixture of the type T. So now I can decide what kind of fixture I want to use. Let's just get rid of this guy. And let me try and show you because the DOM helper will fail now again in the spec file, because I now need to specify what exactly is this component fixture for, right? So let's try and go back to spec file. And when I create the DOM helper now, I can actually explain to the DOM helper that it's going to be for a product list component, right? So that's how simple that was. So now I have a generic DOM helper that I can use in any of my component tests. Pretty amazing, right? Anything where I need to kind of grab this fixture and work with the fixture, I can now use this small DOM helper and I can start using all these beautiful tests right here. But we need to just make sure that everything is still green. It seems so. So we're happy guys. And that was how easy it was to kind of move this into its own small isolated file that I can now keep extending. And every time I make something new here, I can reuse it. That's freaking amazing. So any file now that I want to test later on, I can get a lot of small helper classes or methods that can help me kind of uh, develop faster. That's amazing. So that's it for this lesson. I know that was a short one, but now you guys know how easy it is to kind of export a class into its own file, how to make a small generic guy right here to kind of be easy to change the component fixture in our case, but to be generic in general, and then how easy it is to actually use that generic component to kind of start using it inside our setup. Next lesson, we'll get back and we'll start talking about this component down here and this stop right here and how we can get rid of the stops so we don't have to use them anymore. See you next time. Have fun.